Hey everybody, Jason here again with GDT Basics and the video question line. Today's topic is size dimensions to avoid. Today's question is a little unique in the fact that it's a follow up uh, from a recent video that we sent out uh, on reporting size dimensions with a CMM. Uh, in that video, we talk about using the point clouds from a CMM and how we should utilize that point cloud for features of size to check a size dimension and its tolerance. Uh, so definitely go check out that video if you're interested. Uh, but the question was, uh, I mentioned in that video that we can no longer locate the distance between stepped surfaces with a size dimension. So the question was, please explain why this is ambiguous and how to dimension it uh, and report this measurement to get the most direct tolerance between these stepped surfaces. Because obviously in the industry, there are a lot of applications where the precision between those stepped surfaces is something we want to control to a critical uh, amount, right? So we're going to take a look at this drawing here that I have set up to discuss this very topic. So here we can see a sample drawing, a uh, very simple drawing at that, but we see a stepped surface right here. Uh, and we were controlling that with a size dimension. Now, as I mentioned in the previous video, this is no longer quote unquote legal per the ASME Y14.5 uh, 2018 standard. They take a very direct stance and say that this sort of dimensioning between stepped surfaces uh, is ambiguous, and it is. The issue existed well before ASME pointed it out, but in 2018, they just take a stance and say, hey, stop doing this. Uh, it leads to too many ambiguous situations. There's much better alternatives, uh, and we'll go through those alternatives now and why this is ambiguous. So here we can clearly see the attempt that this bottom surface is being located to this top surface, uh, you know, 0.565 plus or minus 15 thousandths. Or maybe it's this top surface being located to the bottom surface, right? Which one of these surfaces is our origin? Because it's important to point out the fact that size dimensions do not and will not ever utilize datums. If we identified this top surface as datum feature A, or the bottom surface as datum feature A, or maybe neither of them as datum features, uh, they will never use datum features to locate or be the origin of that size dimension. Now, there is a very unique symbol that is the origin symbol you can associate with a size dimension. I haven't seen it used in the industry. It's a very unique symbol. Well, maybe we'll make a separate video on that. So if we have a top surface that looks something like this, and it steps down, but that bottom surface looks something like this. Now, albeit I'm pretty, being pretty dramatic in the orientation between those two, but how would you take a measurement between this top surface and this surface here? Would you zero to this top surface and then measure the worst case deviation up or down? Or would you measure zeroed out on this surface and take the worst case deviation from here or here? Uh, the argument can be made either way. Not one of those surfaces can be used as the origin. Or you might find some happy medium between the two and take the max distance between those two surfaces and any elements of them. Some CMMs might take a best fit plane of each one of those surfaces and then find the center of those two planes. Uh, I would argue that all of these scenarios I just listed here um, don't actually mimic the functional intent of the part. And in fact, they can be argued until you're blue in the face that uh, this is the way it's supposed to be inspected. There's no standard that supports that because in reality, it's also not just this, it might be orientation in and out of the page. And so now we have three-dimensional error, both location and orientation between these two surfaces. The real world will contain location and orientation as well as the form of these uh, surfaces in the real world. So using something like this two-dimensional tolerance, right? This is just a two-dimensional tolerance on a linear scale. So it's 0.565 plus or minus some linear value, right? That's a two-dimensional value trying to control three-dimensional air. And therefore, it is an ambiguous thing to measure. Um, how to physically measure this is just going to be not backed up by any standard. So we see size dimensions being used incorrectly on a lot of drawings that we help review. Um, and so what we do recommend is transitioning to the use of profile for surfaces. So for this example here, we see that we just dropped off the plus or minus 15 thousandths and made this a basic dimension. Now you remember basic dimensions don't have tolerances. So what in the world is controlling the location of this top surface? 
Well, if you see, we don't have profile of a surface applied directly to that top surface, but what we do have is down here in our unless otherwise specified tolerances, might be a little hard to read, but it says all surfaces profile of 0 0.030 to AB. Now we see that 0 0.030 to AB profile of a surface. That means this surface in this field of view is undefined. And so we get to apply that profile surface to that unspecified surface. And so it'd be just equivalent to pop it in here and say profile of a surface 0 0.030 AB. So now that we have control on that top surface of profile, this is a very simple measurement. That's simply saying that this surface has a true position 0.565 away from datum feature A. So now in the scenario where we might've had some orientation error between these surfaces, this is datum feature A. So we level to this surface and then we go up 0.565, that might exist right here. And now we have a tolerance zone of plus or minus 15 thousandths or a total tolerance, if you see it, 0 0.030 profile, right? So we see a 0 0.030 profile tolerance centered at the true position of that profile of the surface. Uh, and we can see as long as the entire surface is inside this tolerance zone, we've passed both orientation, form, and location of that top surface with respect to this surface. Now, conversely, if maybe we didn't identify this surface right here as datum A, rather we identified this surface as datum feature A. But we still cared about the location between these two surfaces. We can certainly still control that. We can apply profile to this surface and profile to this surface. And as long as they're back to the same datum reference frame, we have a reference frame of mind to work with. This surface can go up and down 15 thousandths, and this surface can go up and down 15 thousandths. If that's too much uh, stack up between them, you have a couple options as a designer. You can re-identify this surface as a separate datum and then control this top surface to that one, or you can shrink the amount of profile tolerance you have between this surface or this surface to reduce that stack up. It's the equivalent of chain or ordinate dimensioning uh, with traditional coordinate dimensions. So again, utilizing datums and then utilizing the profile uh, eliminates this ambiguous size dimension being applied to a stepped surface. So hopefully that helps clarify things for you. Uh, again, thanks for tuning in and check out more videos to come. Our goal is to be your best source for gd and information online. It's important to us that everyone involved in engineering and manufacturing have the chance to learn and better understand gd and on your prints. We have many free resources to help you get started on your learning journey. Subscribe to our gd and community using the link in the description below or visit our website. Test your knowledge with our gd and and print reading quizzes download helpful charts, and access articles written by training experts.